to say it. You do? You didn't listen. Yeah. Did you hear her? She said he's a talker. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> no. This, uh, here, we'll get started here. No problem. We'll, uh, yeah, what do we want to do? All right, Jim, Deb, Kev, we are back here uh, backstage. Navy Federal Credit Union is a sponsor to Sherwin Williams, and Chris Jansen joins us. How you doing, Chris? You know, if oh, man, was, doing if good. Was, thank you. Uh, country music Jeopardy, celebrity. You would be on because you're one of the smart ones. Oh, thank you in very country much. Music. Thank I think you very you could much. Be on Jeopardy, I really That's, do. I, I pride myself in that. Thank you. I, I, Were you I, a good student? Yeah, I actually was. I was yeah. uh, triple tied for valedictorian. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I see. Wait, triple what? Uh, we had a triple tie for valedictorian. Oh, and I was one wow. of them. Yeah. I wasn't I the smartest, was but I was right up there. I, I knew you were smart. You need to you. put that on your business card. <laughs> yeah, right? That's a big deal. It's triple nominated. <laughs> so, so of your high school classmates, yeah. would they be surprised at your stardom, or would they say, no, I knew all along he was going to be a star? You know, it's interesting you should ask that. Um, first of all, I don't keep in touch with too many of them. I don't know what happened to any of them, but I know what happened to a couple, and they, they are um, – I don't think they're surprised. I say that humbly. You know, it's a hard no. question to answer, but I, I say it humbly, but – I don't think they were surprised because I've always been a guy who kind of knew what he was going to do and just that's it. I mean, you, you have to believe it or nobody else will. Was music yeah, a thing for you in high school, though? Yeah, it's, okay. been, it's been a thing for me since I was nine years old, but it's always been a hobby. I mean, and now, you know, over the last, since I've been big successful with it or whatever, um, since I made it, I started telling people, it's like I travel for a living and play music for fun, which is yeah, true because, I mean, I, it is true. I mean, I play music for fun and... You know, like I never got into. It's so funny. We're here for ACMs and we're nominated for Drunk Girl and stuff, but I never got into for trophies. I just got into it for the love of writing songs and singing them. And yeah, yeah. although and, you won't uh, mind clearing off the spot. Oh, I love. <laughs> trust me, it looks amazing in there, and and I love it. But you know, that's that's the beauty of it. When you come in with a heart like that and with an attitude like that, you know, um, getting nominated and stuff is 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 much more sweeter. Who is in? Who's around you that keeps you humble? Because you're a very humble guy. Thanks. Despite all your successes, thanks. You're humble. Who is that? Oh, who, I know who, who you're going to say. Who, who keeps you humble? Uh, three, three, three entities, I will say. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ and my wife and my kids. Yeah, and but I'll be on, But I will be honest with you. I, I appreciate you noticing. But I, I, I'm just, I'm just naturally this way. Honestly, I, um, I just got a lot to be thankful for. We all got a lot to be thankful you for. You know, we, one of the first times we talked with you after after we had that interview. You did strike us as being very grateful I am. for where you are in this industry. I'm very grateful. I'm grateful to wake up in the morning. I mean, mm -hmm. take the industry away, and I'd be just fine waking up tomorrow. Is a, is a, that in you? It's a privilege. Honestly, I had to be preachy or nothing, but like uh, right. I, I became a Christian in 2001, and that's that. It was instilled with me just through that. That's awesome. Yeah, that I mean, awesome. I really found that on my own, and and uh, or it found me, you know. Yeah. 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 And so. I just, I've always just had a thankful heart and, you know, we, we all, like, we're humans, so we stray away from that a lot, even myself, and you had to remember that not everybody got to wake up today. We did. We're so blessed to be alive. And, and you know, with me, thankfully, because you guys have played my music and, and the way that you have and you've built my career to what it is, I have such a platform now to really change a life. And it's you, a responsibility. And it is a big yeah. responsibility. Yeah. And, and with your platform, you can either choose to just be one of the normal people or you can really choose to stand out. And I choose to try to stand out, but do it in a humble way, but, but also to uh, exude positivity. That's, that's why I write songs like Drunk Girl, Good Vibes, Buy Me, but whatever. Right. Yeah. That's why I do it. That's why I do it because, you know, it's, it's really, it can, you can, you're affecting people. Some people wow. don't embrace that role model role, but you do. I'm a I dad. Like, I mean, I have to. I love that. I'm a dad. I have to. And, and, I, and also, and I try to remind people all the time it shows, you know. Man, tell a kid, even if it's not yours, just good job today because it's so important. We're teaching a new generation. Um, you know, we are we are really molding their lives, yes. and you can really True. you can really ruin somebody so quick by being cocky or arrogant or just not taking the time to say hi to somebody. That's important. And That's yeah, true. it is. But also, I will tell you, even as I speak it, it's a good reminder to myself because no matter you know, you could be the most humble guy in the world or you could be the most thankful guy in the world. But trust me, life happens too, and and you get a lot of moments where you're like, hey, look at me, yeah. and uh, you know, I just, just try not to be that way. Right.